the urine looks red, dark brown, which could be old blood, or very, very concentrated orange, they could, this could be a sign that there is some blood in the urine. And the first thing to do is call your pediatrician and have an initial visit. Um, at that time, your pediatrician will likely request a urine analysis to make sure there's no signs of infection, some simple blood work to make sure the kidneys are functioning well. Um, the two main reasons why we're seeing blood in the urine nowadays um, would be urinary tract infection or kidney stones, which is becoming more common in the pediatric population. So some of the general causes could be a recent upper respiratory infection, it could be bacterial, it could be viral, it could be a new medication that's affecting the kidneys, or it could be after a minor trauma, such as sledding accident in the wintertime, uh, a minor motor vehicle, vehicle accident, or so falling off uh, a bicycle. This can all cause some spilling of the blood into the urine. So if the, the blood in the urine is persistent, it doesn't get better with hydration, with rest, or um, this keeps on happening after minor traumas, it could be a sign of something more serious. This could be a sign of some sort of congenital or anatomical abnormalities of the kidney itself, the bladder, or the urethra. At Johns Hopkins Children's Center, we know that blood in the urine is a fairly common problem in children. Most of the time, this will go away with simple rest and hydration. There's no further concerns. However, occasionally, this could be a sign of a more serious problem. Therefore, we recommend that your child be seen by your pediatrician.